Welcome to Grant Thornton Bharat's podcast on the interim budget 2024. We are honored to have with us today Riyas Thingna, partner tax Grant Thornton Bharat. Join us as he shares his insights on the interim budget 2024 around personal taxation, TDS regime and the two pillar solution implementation for MNCs. A very warm welcome Riyas. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. I just want to mention here that firstly on February 1st when the honorable finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman will present the budget it will only be an interim budget uh, with the general elections expected soon so a full fledged budget is only expected around July after the general elections and generally big batting changes are not announced in an interim budget the so only small ticket changes which do not impact the revenue numbers in a big way are likely to be introduced uh but when they are those if any surprise will lay in store so my first question to you today is what can individual taxpayers expect from this year's interim budget so on the personal tax front taxpayers are looking forward to some tweaking in the slab rates primarily to provide relief to the middle income group an increase in standard deduction amount is also very high on the wish list what is your take on the government's strategy in simplifying the taxation regime for the individuals well there's been some speculation on increase in deduction quantum under atc and atd but one has to keep in mind the fact that the government's stated policy over the past few years has been to phase out exemptions and deductions Individual taxpayers are being incentivized to move towards a new or default personal tax regime where such deductions are minimal if at all. So as such maybe these changes may not be expected. Any thoughts you'd like to share on the rationalization of the TTS regime? Well, corporate India has been seeking rationalization of the TTS regime for a long time now. So we all know that the TDS provisions have expanded many fold in the recent past and there are several interpretation issues numerous rates thresholds and all this increases the time and cost related to compliances <clears throat> these uncertainties uh, have also culminated in protracted litigation so it may be desirable to simplify and rationalize compliances In any case, most of these changes would be revenue neutral, so it may be uh, quite uh, easy to actually uh, review those compliance regimes. There has also been an increasing demand for simplification of the capital tax taxation regime. Now, this has become increasingly complicated over the years, and there is a need. to take a fresh look and my last question for this podcast is and are there any policy announcements expected for the mncs well mncs are awaiting guidance on the path ahead for the pillar 2 implementation in india as you may be aware india is yet to unveil its domestic legislation on pillar 2 whereas several countries across the globe have already brought in legislation or at least draft legislation on this important interna- international tax development it is expected that there may be at least some policy announcements around these expectations but you know these asks continue to pile up only the silver lining is given the robustness of our economy and the sustaining trend of growth uh, we may expect some positive ass- announcements in the budget Thank you for joining us today Riyaz that was indeed a very insightful session tune in to Grant Thornton Bharat's interim budget webinar on 1st February 4 to 5 pm where distinguished panelists will share their insights on the economy and analyze the interim budget presented by the government of India thank you for listening to this podcast